Today I will be teaching you how to crochet this long donut scarf. This donut scarf was inspired by the ever so famous Homer Simpson donut that you could get at Universal Studios Hollywood. Maybe at Universal Studios Orlando. I wouldn't know because I've never been there. Anyway, I hope you like it and let's get to the tutorial. To make the donut scarf, you'll need worsted weight yarn in your desired donut color. I'm using beige. Worsted weight yarn in your desired color of frosting. For my scarf, I'm using white, pink, and dark brown, but in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make it with the pink. Worsted weight yarn in any amount of colors you want for the rainbow sprinkles on the pink frosting, if you're making the pink frosting. A US size D crochet hook or 3.25 millimeter crochet hook. A yarn needle, a yarn cutter or a pair of scissors and a stitch marker, but this is optional, but it's very useful to keep track of when your round ends. To make the donut, you're going to take your desired donut color of yarn and chain 12. And now you are going to slip stitch in the very first chain to create a ring. If you're going to use a stitch marker, I would suggest that you put it on right now. So just put it in the loop that you have on your hook. Now the first row is to single crochet one. So just one single crochet in the very first chain. And then two in the next one. So increase. And you repeat that all the way around, so just one single crochet, two. One single crochet, two. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 18 stitches. Now in the second row, you are going to first do one single crochet in the first stitch, then increase in the next one, and instead of doing that around like in the previous round, you are going to single crochet one in each of the next two stitches. and then an increase in the next one. Now you're going to do the single crochet to increase all the way around until you have one stitch left in the round. the end and you have one stitch left, you're just going to single crochet one in that stitch. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 24 stitches. For round three, you are going to do one single crochet in each of the next three stitches. Two. 
and then you are going to increase in the next one. You're going to keep doing this all the way around until you reach the end. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 30 stitches. In round four, you are going to start by making one single crochet in each of the first two stitches. And you're going to increase in the next one. Then you are going to make one single crochet in each of the next four stitches. And then you're going to increase in the next one. Now you're going to repeat that one part, single crochet, four, increase all the way around until you have two stitches left in the round. going to make one single crochet in each of the last two stitches. At the end of this round you should have a total of 36 stitches. For round five you just make one single crochet in each of the next five stitches. And then you're going to increase in the next one. Repeat this all the way around until you reach the end. round you should have a total of 42 stitches. For round six, first you are going to do one single crochet in each of the first three stitches. And then you're going to increase in the next one. Now you're going to do one single crochet in each of the next six stitches. then you are going to increase in the 
next one. Repeat the single crochet six increase all the way around until you have three stitches left in the round. Just gonna make one single crochet in each of the last three stitches. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 48 stitches. For round seven, you are gonna make one single crochet in each of the next seven stitches. then an increase in the next one. And you're gonna repeat that all the way around. round you should have a total of 54 stitches. Now for round 8 you are gonna make one single crochet in each of the first four stitches. And then you're gonna make an increase in the next one. Then you're going to make one single crochet in each of the next eight stitches. Then you're gonna make an increase in the next stitch. And you're gonna repeat single crochet eight, increase all the way around until you have four stitches left in the round. single crochet in each of the last four stitches. At the end of this round you should have a total of 60 stitches. Now I'm going to remove my marker and fasten it off with 
a slip stitch and I'm gonna leave myself a long yarn tail and uh, just fasten it off pull tight now take your yarn needle and just sew in the middle short end into the donut to hide it. Now you have finished your donut. Make as many of these as you want depending on how long you want your scarf to be. And don't bother leaving a long tail for one of them because you wouldn't need it. To make the frosting, use your desired yarn color for the frosting and repeat rounds one through four of the donut. I'm not going to do it on screen since I've already showed you how to do that, so I'll meet you at the start of round five. Alright, now that we have our four, uh, four rows of frosting, we'll start on the special fifth row. Now we're going to skip this very first stitch, and in the second one, we are going to double crochet. We're going to do that five times in the same stitch. So there's one double crochet. Then you're going to skip the next stitch and make a slip stitch in the one after that. And you're basically going to repeat this all the way around. So skip one, five double crochet in one, skip one, slip stitch. Once you're done with the fifth round, you should have a total of nine little scallops. I forgot to mention that when you start making the frosting with your chain to leave a long tail so that you could sew the middle to the donut. Now I'm just going to remove my marker and fasten this off. and. And make sure you have a long tail because you'll be sewing in a, a lot of stitches from the scallops. And pull that tight. Alright, there's your frosting. Alright, now here's the easy part, the sprinkles. Just take your desired sprinkle color, 
and put it on a yarn needle and starting from the back just weave in little lines into your frosting. Do this as many times as you want and with as many colors as you want. For the pink frosting I am making sprinkles in green, red, orange, yellow, hot pink, and purple, and white. Once you have made your desired amount of sprinkles in one color, you could just turn it over and cut it off and just tie the ends together so that they won't go anywhere. Now you could do the sprinkles all in one color or put a bunch of different colors just to decorate it. Now that you've sewn your sprinkles to your frosting piece, it's time to sew it to the donut. So take your needle and start with the middle. Just place it on top of the donut and make sure the ends on the other side aren't sticking out. And just Sew it in So basically you're just whip stitching the piece together Now when you're done just tie it off And you could just weave it within the frosting or just poke it through. Just leave the end like that and it'll be hidden with the rest of the frosting. Now take your other end and sew it along. basically around round six or seven of the donut. And I suggest that you make sure that the scallops that when you that when you sew it together the scallops don't touch the edge because then it would look like that there is no donut unless you're seeing it from the back. donuts together all you have to do is just line them up on top of each other and just sew them together and there you 
have your donut scarf. You can make as many donuts as you want depending on how long you want your scarf to be. The scarf that I made has 15 donuts, five of each of these three colors. And if you like, you could always just make one donut and make it as like a very large hair accessory or you can make it a pendant or a pin, whatever you want. If you make this scarf, I would really like to see it, so post your pictures to Instagram and hashtag Queen Nakoyasha. So I hope you like this crochet tutorial. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next tutorial. Bye!